Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another game analysis video. In this game, my team, the Charleston Battery, are taking on Indy 11. This is a crazy game. A lot of goals were scored. There was a lot of errors, I think, um, from us and from Indy 11, just because of the amount of goals that were scored. But I think overall, this is a really, really good team performance from us. I was really proud of the team after this game, and I thought I had a pretty good uh, individual performance as well. So anyway, let's get into the analysis. Here is the lineup for my team, the Charleston Battery. As you can see, I'm number 13, Matt Sheldon. I'll be playing right back this game. We're going with, it's more of a 4-4-1-1, four, four, one, one. Um, but 4-3-3 three, three is pretty much, we kind of are in this situation a lot anyway. But uh, yeah, this is our lineup. If you guys wanted to see, here is Indy 11's starting lineup. Um, I know they had a few guys out with, uh, with COVID and, and everything as well. So anyway, here is the start of the game. Indy 11 is going to be in white. They start with the ball. We're in the black and yellow and red kits. Uh, they do a good job to kind of win the ball down here. But after some frantic uh, bouncing around and everything, we managed to maintain possession here. Here's my very first touch in the game in the first minute. Balls are kind of clipped out to me. Tons of time. I'm looking forward. Uh, I have a lot of time to pick up my head. I can see Morrow checking in right here, but I'm also seeing Dom. Um, in a pocket of space as well. So I'm just gonna play Dom leading him. He's gonna bounce it right back to me, bounce it back to my center back. And now we can keep possession in this first minute, establish a rhythm and uh, switch the ball over to the other side. Here is a great, great press from us. You can see Morrow putting pressure on the center back. Our center mid Dom is tight with their center mid and then I'm flying up, getting tight to their, their winger. So making it very difficult for Indy 11 to play out from there. And Dom does well to maintain possession there. Um, cross in from the left back. I'm just getting forward. I hear Morrow just calling for the ball. You can see he's in a good position. He's wide open and he's checking his shoulder. I trust him. So as soon as I hear him just calling for the ball, I just turn out and play right into him. Great uh, touch in, a little bit of a deflection, but uh, a good attacking sequence right there. Romario has the ball looking for, this is a great run from Morrow in between the center back and the fullback. Uh, Roma decides not to play it though. So that kind of draws in that fullback for me. So now I have tons of time and space to look forward. I'm making eye contact with Augie and he's running in behind this high line that uh, Indy 11 has right now. I think that's a great ball into him. It's a good touch, just a little bit behind him and unfortunate not to uh, score a goal there, but I think that's a great play. It's a really good ball in, good touch from Augie, just a little bit behind, um, but a good shot on goal. Next play. Once again, another good pressing sequence from us. Uh, you can see Morrow is kind of blocking the middle, but also ready to step on their fullback. Their center back, Cochran, tries to play it into the line. I'm in a good position to collect the ball. I feel that pressure. I'm getting told man on, so I'm gonna take my touch down the line and forward. And then as I feel um, Pino now kind of coming around to my left shoulder, I'm gonna try to spin out the other way and play back to my center mid, but the ball just goes out of bounds slightly there. Uh, but a good decision making, I think that's fine. Now Mario crosses the ball in here. It's gonna bounce out to me. Immediately just gonna to try to play one touch. I could play honestly Dom here, but I'm looking forward and trying to play uh, Andrew. Just one touch with the left foot, a little bouncy, but he does a good job to maintain possession, keep the ball, and now we're gonna swing the ball out as it's getting a little crowded on that side. Um, ends up being a foul. You can't see it, but there's gonna be a little bit of a counterattack now. I think this is a great line from us. As you can see, Preston's checking his shoulder to see what's behind him. Tristan, our left back, is checking his shoulder to see where the runs are. We have a great line all together, and now I can start to step out and put a little bit of pressure on um, Artiega. And as Artiega steps in, we just don't follow this runner, making this run in behind our two center mids. Um, but Preston does a great job to step out, stop that play, and now we have the ball. Preston uh, finds me way over there, tons of time and space looking forward. I, I'm just seeing a ton of white shirts when I pick up my head. So it's, it's an indicator not to attack here. So I'm just going to play back tomorrow. We'll keep the ball for a little bit, get settled up, pushed up, and, uh, and now we can attack again. Now Kuzemka, my goalkeeper, plays me out the ball. I got tons of time and space to turn and look forward. As I do, I'm noticing my wingers rounding his run and cutting off the line, which means I got space inside to drive. So I'm gonna take my touch inside and then Dom's in a great pocket playing his left foot so he can turn and face forward. And now we can attack out that, out that side again. 
My center defensive mid now, Domaduro, has the ball, plays it out to me. I got tons of time and space. I honestly probably could and probably should take another touch just to get a little bit closer, but I'm seeing four black shirts just crashing the box, so I try to deliver a service into there. It's right into Cochran, the, the big center back from Indy, but maybe I could play that a little bit deeper, but I think that's a, a decent decision. Preston now plays me out the ball again. Tons of time and space. I'm going to start to drive inside now, and as I'm looking for it, I should play Augie. He's in a good position here. I kind of just looking for the goal, looking at the goal, drive a little bit more, take one more touch, and try to get a shot uh, on goal there. Good play, but I think Augie was in a better position. Now just uh, receiving the ball out here, you can see it's kind of kind of crowded here. There's no clear passing angles looking forward. I have some pressure, so just play it back to my center back, get higher and wider, swing the ball over, and make a indie move a little bit. Now here, this is a 2v1 situation. My positioning is wrong. I should take another step backwards right here and really, really force Artiega um, wide. If, or maybe that's Timmer, I can't tell. Uh, but yeah, I, my positioning was a little bit too open to allow him to cut in between me and Morrow. Receiving the ball now, tons of time looking forward, not much. Indy's dropping back, play it back to my center back, once again swing it over to the other side. Ball comes back over to my side now, tons of time looking forward, tons of time, but once again, we'll keep possession for a little bit. I'll play it over the other center back, and we can make Indy work defensively. This is another really good press from us. We are all in a great position, making it very difficult for Indy to, to, uh, to build out now. And as you can see, looking forward, how tight it is, how, how there's not any clear passing angles on this right side. That's a nut, like again, it's an indicator to get it into the center mid and let's switch it over to that, to that left side. And honestly, I think Dom should have played it over to Tristan, our left back there. Um, but anyway, going 2v1 again, a little Meg from Pino, um, and then I just get mad, try to slide tackle, and end up getting a foul and a yellow card here. And what Pino does here is, is very smart. I think I talked about this in, our, in my game against Birmingham when I was on the other end of this, but as I go in for the slide tackle, watch Pino now just step into that and, and force me now to hit him instead of the ball. Because right here, I'm in a position to win it. I'm going to slide. If he doesn't do what he's about to do, then it's going to be a clean tackle. But as I do this, you can see him just kind of coming into me and, and basically getting contact, initiating the contact to make it now me fouling him, hitting his leg instead of the ball and end up on a yellow. And now i got to play the rest of the game a little bit more conservatively so I don't get a red card. Next play, goalkeeper has the ball, plays it out to my right center back. I'm dropping low to create a passing angle. I'm taking my touch forward. Dom's in a good spot here, but I see Augie checking right in this pocket of space. So just with the left foot, I'm going to just clip it up into him. It's a good job to check for it, but the touch just is a, a little off there and we end up losing possession. Now here's an example of a bad press because you can see we're kind of half pressing. We got two guys going, Andrew and Roma kind of pressing up here, but they are in a numbers advantage. We don't have enough pressure. They can turn and face forward and now we're stretched. We're like 50 yards apart from the top to, uh, to bottom. They're able to play right directly through us in the middle and then now our defensive line is scrambling, trying to get back. We should have dropped a little bit earlier, pulled everybody back in this situation, but instead, since we're being stretched out here, they're able to have one ball in behind, and then here, Dan, I think, you know, stay home. Um, he tries to uh, come out here, misjudges it a little bit, and then it's just an easy pass all the way through and a goal. And uh, just that's how easily you can be broken down if we're not on the same page. We have some guys pressing, some guys dropping. It's not a good time. We should recognize this as a back line and tell our attackers, you know, to drop, to hold, it's not the time to press. And because of that, we're now down a goal when I thought that we've been dominating this, this first you know, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it's been. So, and very, very frustrating with that, with that play. From the kickoff now, receiving the ball, playing forward into Morrow. Um, he tries to play it down the line to Roma, but it just gets knocked out of bounds. Now Morrow's just gonna play me back. Again, tons of time. Um, to swing the ball over. I should hit that ball harder to Brett. I don't know why I'm passing the ball so lightly there. And then here, uh, it was caught in between between me and Brett who was going to go up for this header. I should have called it. I think this is my guy. Brett's dealing with the guy right behind him. Um, and then we defend it really well. Preston does a really good job to help defend here. Then uh, 1v1 defense out here now. Just keeping him in front of me, keeping him in front of me. I should force it a little bit more wide, but that's fine. If, it, if that's what I'm going to give up, that's okay. 1v1 defensively now. Now look what my winger's doing here. He's really dropping deep and inside. 
to draw me out. And I think it'd be a mistake if I were to go and follow him here because I'd be so drawn out from my back line. So I'm just telling Morrow just to hold, watch his left shoulder, and he can go with the ball now. And I can stay at home and be in a good position with my back line. Now here, as soon as he takes this touch, I need to double down and, and get into a tackle here. I kind of drop behind Brett because I'm not sure where that winger is if he's making a run. Um, but I make it too easy for Artiega just to be able to dribble out here. I think I can, I can really double down. But still, I mean, even though it's a little disorganized, we're able to keep the ball in front of us and stop the attack down that far side. Now, cross in. I should probably head this out for a corner kick. Um, you know, hindsight's always 20 20. I'm trying to deal with Artiega behind me. I'm just blocking him from receiving the ball. It drops right down to me. They're able to play into Artiega, uh, a little 1v1 dribbling here against our center back, and it's a goal. I think in this situation, since we're kind of running back to the goal for me, um, you know, the one thing I could do in this play is probably head that out for a, uh, a corner kick. Um, but I thought, you know, I was really focused on just Artiega, just bumping him here. And then 1v1, just got to stand him up here and keep him wide. Uh, but that's a great goal. That's a really, really good, you know, individual effort from Artiega. Great dribbling. Yeah, that's, that's tough. That's tough. Here's my next play now. Uh, I'm going to receive the ball looking forward, just playing right into Morrow into this pocket. The ball just get a little bit underneath him, but he's able to play it right back out to me. And then I don't recognize Roma's run. He's making a run in behind. I should clip this over if I want to play him, but just on the wrong page there, play it behind him, didn't see his run, and held up my hand. You know, my bad. Uh, now ball's going to bounce back into our center back, Brett. Just misjudges that header. Now it's 1v1 running back. I'm trying to uh, open up my hips, but it's at this point, it's 1v3. And when you're playing against a, a great team like Indy, a professional-level team with, with pros, one mistake can lead to a goal, and most of the time does lead to a goal. So it's just we just have a couple just mistakes here, and unfortunately uh, ends up being 3-0 in the first half. Pretty embarrassing, pretty frustrating. Uh, and the only thing, I mean, it's, I'm trying to look, I always look at what I could do in order to prevent something. And maybe I could step a little bit, try to force it, uh, the ball to the opposite side for me, but that's a tough, tough play again. Now this is where I'm really proud of the team because I think we responded really well. I received the ball here. Rome was making a good run behind this fullback. If I saw, if I see that, I could try to open up my hips with the right foot and curl that down the line. Um, but still just playing tomorrow. We can keep it here playing and he's kind of sagging back which makes it hard to play through and and when that happens i think you really have to move the ball side to side like this play exactly like this play roma plays it out to me once again just picking up my head i have so much time and space i'm just looking forward and seeing four black shirts crashing into the box so i'm trying to lift this over the front guy into the back post i think that's a that ball goes into a really really dangerous area um and it's out for a corner kick uh, just don't have anybody crashing that back post, but I, I think that's a, a good ball. I mean, the, as the goalkeeper can't come out for that, so it's it's tricky there. I received the ball from my center back once again. Lots of time to look forward. I'm just going to play into my center mid. He's going to pop it right back to me. Play it back out. Like I said, the key to really creating opportunities when they're sagged back is swinging the ball to one side and then swinging the ball out to the other side, really making them shift. That's where the gaps and holes appear. Um, this is a great ball in from Dom. I'm just going forward now. The, getting a little bit of pressure from that side. So I'm going to cut the ball back, playing tomorrow, and again, swinging the ball over side to side. My goalkeeper plays me out the ball, just receiving the ball here. This is a trapping situation because there's no clear option really in the middle, and he's forcing me to the line. He's kind of pressing me here, so I'm going to take my touch just back against his momentum and play it back into my center back. It's a very simple touch that's very, very hard to uh, defend against as a winger. Receiving the ball now, once again, getting a lot of pressure from this line, and there's nothing looking forward in this area. So once again, taking my touch inside, kind of away from that pressure, playing back, swing the ball over to the other side. And this is why you swing from side to side, because it's the ball like this. All it takes, Mar does a great job just to shield Nikki Law there. I have the ball here looking forward, four runners into the box. And I'm just going to whip this in hard behind this defensive line because they have a very high defensive line. It's outside the box. It's a great ball right into Augie's head. And all he has to do is just... Uh, direct that into the goal so that's that's the whole way I mean when a team's sagging back like that dropping back swinging the ball from side to side these balls kill them because they have to run all the way back over all the way back over the other side and it's it's tough to defend like that but anyway I think you know I'm really happy with that cross 
happy with it. It's whipped in with power right to uh, Augie's head. And that's a really good ball. Anyway, here is the next play now. Uh, we're broken immediately. I mean, Nikki Law has time and space to drive forward. I have a guy running here. There's an overlapping wing back. There's a forward right here. It, the last thing I, I should do is step out here. So I'm dropping back, dropping back. And once again now, the last thing I should do is take one hard step here. Because if I do, he's just going to play the overlapping wing back, and we're going to be beat. So again, just dropping, and then Morrow does a great job to recover. And dropping like that, delaying the play, allows your teammates to get back. Receiving the ball now, looking forward. Uh, Rome was making a great run here. Uh, I'm kind of just focused on Morrow. I try to, to cut the ball back across my body with the left foot. It's a tough ball to handle. He does a great job to trap it. But Roma, I think, was the, the better passing option there for, uh, for the future. Here's another example of high pressure, aggressive pressing, but we're a half second late everywhere. Center mid's a half second late. Center back's a half second late. Next center back's a half second late. Um, and then now it's 1v4 inside the box. And this is, I mean, this is tough. Uh, Asante does take a heavy touch here, but yeah, it's, there's not much you can do. But if you start from the beginning, it's all just from being a half second late and aggressively stepping. When I think when you get broken like that and that to step to the ball, it's, it's not on, you kind of just have to drop back and delay to allow your team to get back. Um, but yeah, just three, four or five passes and they're one before inside our own box. Now here's an example of a good pressing sequence. We, you know, like we're 1v1 here, 1v1 here, 1v1 here. The ball comes into my winger. I'm aggressively stepping here, forcing the ball to be played back. Plays it back. Another good step from Morrow, and then a good step from Brett. Just unlucky with the bounce. Um, but you know, Brett fa ends up fouling him. But I think that's a really good full team pressing action there. Got a little dangerous here. Ball comes out to me. I'm just going to clip the ball up, do a little chip touch over his feet here and then just play it safely back to my center back in this situation and then a good little combination into andrew now he can turn and face forward now uh ball comes into dom our center mid he plays me out the ball and as i receive it looking forward you can just see it's not the time to attack indy's in two very distinct lines they're set they're organized their numbers advantage it's time to swing the ball here and you know here i think andrew as he receives the ball he needs to switch it over to the other side there's just so many numbers over there if we switch it over to the left back more space force indy to move um Great tackle from Preston. This is after a corner kick. I ended up playing in the left back position for a minute or two. But Preston does a great tackle there, stops a counterattack, and I'm just looking forward now, trying to find my guy, and then a little ball up right into the chest of Kyle. We do a good job to keep it there. Long throw from Indy, but it's a little bit shorter than expected. Kind of a set play. The guy makes a great run off my back shoulder. Do a good job just to clear that out. And then the ref blows the whistle for halftime. So tough half i mean four goals scored on you is is embarrassing it's it sucks but the the plus side that i saw from this half is that i thought we created a ton of opportunities i thought that when we pressed it was a really good press and when we dropped back it was a great you know getting into our mid block our low block um i thought we had majority of possession i thought we we played well but the score line obviously does not reflect that just from a few errors uh and as we look at the match stats you can see i mean seven shots a piece we have four shots on target they have all seven of their shots on target we have majority of possession um but yet you know they're just more clinical in front of goal and maybe our errors were a little bit worse than than their errors so uh tough first half but second half it's going to be a lot better here is the start of the second half now center mid has the ball plays it out to me we have kick i'm just going to cut the ball back play it back into brett my center back and we'll swing the ball over to the opposite side now I'm going to let this play out. Preston plays it in Andrew, plays it back to, to Brett. And then now we come back over to this right side. Dom receives the ball. And now look as we swing it to the left and then back to the right. Now I can drive forward, looking forward, play right into Augie's feet. He's going to tap it back to Andrew. Great ball over to Kyle. And then we attack and should have a goal. But uh, it's called offside there. I don't think the ball was going in from Kyle. I think that was a pass from Kyle and I don't think it was going in. So Augie had to touch it, but he was offside. And then, I mean, that's, that's how you break them down. I mean, you have to swing it over to one side, swing it back to the other side. That's a great sequence of play all the way from the start of the kick. And now as this guy has time and space in the center of the field, it's going to go long. You know, it's going to go long. So I'm checking my shoulder, looking at my winger and just getting ready for that long switching ball out. And then as now it's one V one, just about five yards away from him, standing 
him up, forcing him wide, and delaying to allow time for Morrow to get back because I am on a little 1v1 island out here. Ball comes back into Nicky Law, comes back into Artiega now, and then as they're about to do a 1-2, now there's a gap of space here. I need to return to my defensive line, get back into shape, and plug the center of the field to make it difficult for them to attack. Uh, once again, another long switching ball over to my side, just winning the header, and then uh, ends up getting called for the foul there. So it's our free kick back here. Brett goes up for the header, wins that ball, drops into Kyle. Unfortunately, isn't able to um, to keep the ball there. And then it's a little counterattack, again, delaying the ball, delaying. I don't know how this isn't offside. I think this guy's about a yard offside here. Um, but the, the, the AR doesn't see that. The ball is clipped into the back post and then just don't foul. The guy's back to his goal. It's not going anywhere. Just don't foul, stand him up. And then checking my shoulder and I'm checking for two reasons to see the movement of this player as well as to find the deepest player and to find how high I should step. So now here I'm blocking that pass into this guy and behind me. And I'm also in line with Preston, our deepest player. So I'm not holding anybody on side. And then it's plugging that and then getting out here, dropping my hands behind my, my back as he's about to cross it here for no in unintentional handball or anything. It's gonna go off of me for a corner kick. So I thought we handled that really well, but I thought it was offside from the start. Great driving run from Brett. Our center back is gonna play me out the ball. I've whipped in a few crosses now with the right foot, so they're getting a little bit closer, putting a little bit more pressure on me. I'm gonna take my touch inside and try to mix things up and use my left foot now, uh, but I do not get a hold of that at all. And I just clip it in, chip it in. It's a very tough ball to deal with. Uh, but do a good job of the pressure here. Just get unlucky with the bounce. Uh, so I think that was a good idea, but the execution of the left-footed cross was not was not there. Little turnover there from our goalkeeper and immediately just running straight back in a line this direction. Um, as you can see, the Pino is starting to make a run in behind our center back. He's on side, so I'm trying to get in behind Brett to cut that out. I get a little bit of touch. I get two touches on it, which is just enough to throw Pino off. He gets a touch, and it goes out of bounds for our goal kick. So good recovery, emergency defending, but um, a little turnover. Goal kick from their goalkeeper. I'm just bumping, initiating contact, making it difficult for Nikki Law to bring down that ball. EJ does a good job to escape pressure here and goes out to that far left side. Uh, fast break counter. I'm checking my shoulder to see if I can start to put a little bit of pressure on the ball, but it's basically 3v3 if I were to go. So I'm going to hold. I'm just backpedaling, checking my shoulder again, delaying to allow time for Mara to get back, and just trying to get into line with my defenders. Uh, so now we're in a good line here. You can see Brett's telling me to take the runner who's going wide. He's going to step into law here with the ball. Morrow's already recovered now, and so now we are we're numbers up, which makes it a little bit easier. As they do a little one-two around us, a little underlapping run, Brett's stepping out now, which means I need to come inside and follow this runner and become the center back. So it's a good job we handled this well. The only problem is here, my positioning as a center back is not good. As Nikki Law receives the ball and he's looking in, I should be here, Preston should be here, Tristan should be there. And, but we're all too far sagged over, leaving this massive gap here. Uh, but still, I'm able to get over there, handle it, do some 1v1 defending, get the ball, and, uh, and attack out now. And then just checking my shoulder, looking up the field, see if I have a passing option down the line, and I do. I have DZ. So now I'm just going to just clip the ball, curl the ball down the line into, uh, into DZ. It's a great job to hold the ball up and uh, get out of it. So really good defensively from us. The only thing is I think our positioning, once Brett becomes the right back, is a little bit off there. Now, overlapping run. I can't step hard to Artiega. I have to follow this overlapping run and uh, do a good job just to apply a little bit of pressure to make it so his only passing option is uh, straight into the hands of our goalkeeper. Preston with the ball does a great driven ball into Aiden who brings it down. It's a tough ball to bring down. 1v1 here. My touch is a little bit uh, to the right and not in front of me and I'm, I'm being pressured but if I had a little bit more space and my touch was a little bit better the ball that's on here is whipped in on the ground in behind their defensive line because there's so much space in that box but instead go 1v1 little hesitation little pullback and another another fake cross and I'm able to to still get the ball in but that the better ball would have been an early driven ball on the ground behind that defensive line receiving the ball you can see Nicky Law starting to make a recovery run so I'm going to drive in front of him so that he either has to foul me or has to slow up so I drive inside um, here I should probably just try to play it in behind into Aiden. Just a little clip ball, little chip ball there on the ground. Uh, take one too many touches, two too many touches, and end up losing possession there. Um, 
So that's uh, that's my error. Receiving the ball now, I think this is a great, great pass. Picking up my head, finding DZ now in a pocket of space. So I'm just driving the ball into him, and uh, it's a great turn, great attack, great through ball into Augie, um, but end up not finishing there. Now goal kick from Indy's goalkeeper, long ball into uh, into my side. As Brett, our center back, is going up to win this header, us three do a great job to cover in behind him in case this happens. So ball's flicked on now, in behind. We're in a good position to recover. I could probably play Ugo, or uh, sorry, Dan now, first time, but I just thought Pino was kind of like starting to predict that, so I turn out and then decide that's not on, play it back into Dan, who's a good job to clear the ball up the field. Now, great ball from Andrew um, out into EJ. EJ starts to go 1v1, just cuts inside. A little bit of space near post goal. Uh, great shot. I think the, uh, the goalkeeper was a little bit thrown off. Um, but still, I mean, we, we, we've been knocking on the door all second half, so it's great to finally get the second goal. And this is EJ's first professional goal, so that was pretty exciting. But anyway, it's just about getting the ball now, getting back, and with the last 10, five minutes of the game, however many minutes are left in this game now, trying to get another one. You can see me waving on, let's get back, let's get back, hurry up. Uh, we need to have two more goals now. And then here again, you know, 92nd minute stoppage time, ball gets all the way through into Augie, and Augie's able to finish. Once again, running at the ball, run back, 90 second minute now we have to hurry we only have two more minutes minutes of stoppage time to try to tie things up um, but great goal i mean the ball gets a little bit lucky to bounce all the way through kind of gets deflected once twice i think i might even touch it a little bit uh, but it goes right to augie who's basically in the six yard box but unfortunately you know here's the 96 minute of the game we're unable to uh, get that fourth goal to tie things up so like i said i mean it's a crazy game seven goals scored but I think, you know, the thing that led to our demise of, of getting goals scored was just little individual errors or just little moments where we were a little bit stretched from pressing. So I think, you know, I think overall, like I thought we dominated the game. I thought we had a majority of pos possession. I thought we had a majority of the better chances. They were just a little bit more clinical in front of goal. And I mean, we weren't even not clinical. I mean, we scored three goals. It's just defensively just limiting those errors and being a little bit better as a unit in that emergency defending when we start to get counterattacked because two, three, four passes, and then they're already 4v1 inside of our own box. That shouldn't be happening. Uh, but overall for me, I thought that was a pretty good game. I was happy with that. Just a few errors, but overall pretty happy. And as you can see, our uh, 16 shots, but only six on target to their nine shots and seven on target. The majority of the possession. So decent game despite losing three to four. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, peace.